Michael O'Donnell's pinky back behind center. But Mark Brunel started today for Jacksonville. The hero in their first win. And look at him right here to Rich Griffith. And look at him go. The tight end, 39 yards. Then he's going 11 yards to Willie's Jackson. And the Jaguars are in business. Third and goal. Look at Jackson make the play. And then Brunel, the left-handed former Packer, stays in the pocket. Bang, bang. Where's the tackling for the Steelers? Cedric Tillman touchdown, 7-0 for Tom Coughlin's Jaguars. Later in the first, Brian Barker punts. Andre Hastings must have felt like he was at the Battle of Hastings in 1066. Because of the Pepo and Lashai Maston. Boy, the Steelers, 19 turnovers already this year. They had only 17 last year. Bill Cowher, team has no power. As little man James Stewart to the 5-2 to two Bulls. Touchdown. 14-0 Jacksonville. But Neil O'Donnell played pretty well. To Yancey Thigpen, wide open across the midfield stripe and inside the 35. First and 10 at the 18, O'Donnell to Steve Avery. He's been relegated to the bullpen for the Braves, but he's out of the bullpen for the Steelers. It's a touchdown, or is it, Tom? Well, Avery does a great job, not only of catching the ball, but getting turned up the football field, lower in the shoulder, and then nice balance there, staying in bounds to get it to six. So it's a 14-7 game, a fourth quarter, third and goal for the Steelers. This time O'Donnell wears it. It's over Thigpen's head. And Norm Johnson called on the kick his third field goal, 20 to 16. And then Bam Morris nowhere in the fourth quarter on fourth and one. And look at that Jacksonville defense doing what usually Pittsburgh does. Next Steeler possession, fourth and six. Incomplete plus, they were flagged anyway. Next Steeler possession with O'Donnell, fourth and three, down 20 to 16 scrambles does a nice job could have run for the first no he wants to throw but Joel Schmingy hits him and again on fourth down they don't convert the Jacksonville Jaguars have defeated the Pittsburgh